Hello, and everyone. Hello. It's so weird for me to be on this side because you're so like your your voice is so gentle, and I'm like, Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been I've been quite feisty lately. <laughs> I, I've been just on that feisty trail too. I've honestly, um, I didn't think I'd be doing this many lives today, but I've you know I just happened to get today off because I needed to. Um, take care of my dog. And then the groomer had some, some things happen. So unfortunately I am now free. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple things that I want to go over with you. You watched my lives, correct? I haven't watched them today. I watched last night. Yes. But I, okay. I, I took a nap between lives, honey. I was, I'm old and I don't sleep well at night. So you got to hey, trust me, me. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> trying to, I think you were live on the tail end of our live. It was a two hour yeah, I, I I called Liz and I apologized and she's like, oh, no, you can go on whenever. But I was exactly. like, I, I I literally was like, oh, no, Marilyn was on when I sent that out. And I, oh, you know, and I was thinking it would start later. I'm so we sorry. We were wrapping up. Dog. Believe me, we were trying to wrap up. <laughs> no, but it, was, um, and it doesn't matter. You can go on. It, it's the Internet. It's a big place. <laughs> it is a big place. Room no, um, everyone. So I, I wanted to come on here and talk a couple of things out because right now, you know, and it, and it always makes it easier talking to you. That's why so much of me wants you to go. So I can just give you a mama hug. Uh, um, it happens some, yeah, it'll happen. We'll make it happen you know, at some point. Yes. <laughs> but we basically, you know, what's coming to fruition is I'm getting some, some unique messages. Um, and there was a part of me that wanted to leave the message alone, that wanted to say absolutely nothing. But here's the problem. With, with what's going on now, the reason I'm so upset is because I reported that my mother had been ass assaulting me on a regular basis. While I was at Flag Lamb Base and I was at the, you know, the Quality Inn. Let's be real, everybody. It was a piece of shit, run-down hotel, and I'm really sorry for swearing so early on. Um, all right. Don't worry about it. But it literally turned into this big, huge thing where our roommate, so I want, I don't want you to be a mom. I want you to be a mom from the outside looking in. Okay. Yes. Now I walk in, I've somehow infuriated my mom to the point where she's dragging me upstairs. She's got her nails digging into my arm and she throws me on the cot and then just starts hitting me and hitting me and hitting me and hitting me. And, hitting me and I'm begging. Because I, it's, it's not like I'm smart enough to put my hands up. No, I'm literally like covering pieces of my face, covering everything. And the woman that was sharing the room with us said, hey, hey, what are you doing? That's assault. What are you doing? That's abuse. You know, and then I'm going to report you. I don't care what your position is. And I was thinking, oh, my God, I'm safe. I'm safe. Someone's going to save me. Someone's going to come rescue me. Someone's going to make this stop. Someone's going to be there and stop this. So then I, I talked to an ethics officer while I talked to an ethics officer. Again, this man was tall, dark, black hair, curly, you know, had an, had a little bit of an accent, but he was, a he seemed very nice. Now in the process of that, I thought I was going to be saved, but instead we get sent back to Los Angeles where everything continues again. Now, the reason that I am mad at Mike Rinder is that he was responsible. He played a role in what had happened to me. I had an amazing conversation with Christy, who I saw in the chat a second ago. Hold on. The amazing Children's Scientology. If you have not liked or subscribed, please do so. There's yes. a reason that we all trust her. Because she is amazing and has been there for all of us. Yes. Thank the you, reason Christy. I'm upset is because... Someone could have saved me. Someone could have saved me and they knew about it and they heard my story. And instead it became about see, putting me on a forefront to, to get my dad out. Do I want my dad out? Yes. But I would like, I would like accountability for what happened to me and for shoving me back to Los Angeles to let it continue, not demoting her, not taking me away, not notifying the police department, not notifying some kind of authority. But instead, we're shipped back like nothing happened. Like someone just didn't witness it. The woman was moved out of our room that night. That night, she was moved out of our room. And how old were you at that point? I was eight years old when we were in Florida. 
I was eight years old. And this was in 1988. Eight. 88. Yep. It was in 1988. And then we're, we're there for six months total where we are then hoisted back to Los Angeles. And then after that, it was same as usual. And then suddenly my mom said my grandma was on my way or on her way down to Los Angeles. And I'm thinking, oh, thank, thank God, whenever my grandma visits, it always it's always good. Like my life is great. And, you know, and all of a sudden she's like, I'm not coming with you. You're going by yourself. I'm like, OK, I'm going by myself. OK, I am I can do this. I can do this. I travel back up with my grandmother and I'm thinking I'm never going to have to deal with this again. But then I'm scared because I'm am I never going to see my mom again? Because at the same time, this was yes. all happening. I still love my mom. Yes. Right. Because I loved my mom and I couldn't understand what I did to piss her off on a regular basis. You know, was it her post? Was it that I was I looked too much like my dad? What was it that was so angering back then? Mm -hmm. And so the idea that this was going on and some of these people that I truly respected knew about situations that were happening when I was there, happening when I was around. I need to know from a mom's perspective, am I not entitled to be upset that someone knew about what was going on and did nothing? Yeah. They could have given me information so that I could have pressed charges against Stan. They could have given me information so that I could have done so much differently. Right. So that my family could have adopted me. So that my family could have treated me better. Yeah. I would have known how to read a lot sooner. I wouldn't have needed special education where you're the cult kid. You're the cult kid. You're the kid from the cult. What does cult mean? I I didn't know what it meant. I just felt like I was a freak. And I had zero self-worth. And so why am I holding accountable? Because that shit hurts. What Miriam had to go through and, and people had documentation so she could go forward with her information. It's disgusting what she went through. It's disgusting and deplorable that she has to beg for assistance. Please, sir, I'd, I'd like a handout of some information just so that I can, what? So I can beg and then be called a dog or, or a flea? Like, which one is it? Are we dogs or are we fleas? And you know what? I, I think I'm a dog with fleas. That's okay with me. Oh. Butter. And I'm, yeah. There and we uh, we're all spokes holes. So just, just, just. Speak We're your all truth. regular people. Speak your but truth. It's, it's never too late to speak your truth. There's always so many, you know, there's so many little little darts from people who are in inboxes. And all. I would love to see people start coming live and, and saying some of the things that they're saying um, from community pages, in people's inboxes, on Facebook, email, and Discord, and, and all of these other, um, you know, little trenches or whatever. Come on out and... And let's yeah, let nobody go live. We're sitting here. We, you know, Liz been live how many times? A billion times. I've been live. There quite are people a bit. live chat, right? And there's people here that can that can defend Mike Rinder, can defend Mike Kindly, can defend anything. And we pop them up and we talk about it. Now yeah, we can why don't absolutely. any of these people, you know, get come live and let you guys ask questions in the chat? not going to happen, you know, and it, I'll, I'll get into uh, some other stuff later, but I just want you to know it is, there's no, you don't answer to anyone. You are an adult. Your story is your story. If it took how many years is this? What is this? It's got to be going on, you know, 35, 40 years of this. Show, I am 43 you know? years old. Okay. So we are going was yeah. Many years ago. Many, many years ago. So um, yeah, for me, it ago. was, yeah, it so was. Because you didn't, because you haven't held Mike accountable until now. I've not held anybody accountable except right. my mom. I've held my mom accountable. But I also know that I reported this, that it was shooed yes. under a rug. Yes. You know, yes, I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm, I'm sorry that. You know, for people that want to message me, I am so sorry that I wasn't essayed and that my meaningless beatings 
is something to think it's okay, that that's supposed to pass it off and pass off the buck and pass off the idea that all of these scars that I'm covered in mean, mean nothing. Yes, LRH wrote about a religion because he wanted to make money. David Miscavige is the world's shortest cult leader. And you know what? He wants to make even more money. And then he wants to say, hey, congratulations. I found this new book. I found all this new writing. I found this. I found, we have, you have to redo your OT levels because I we found one more thing. It was a comma. You got to redo it all. Pay for it again. Everyone plays a part. I will own my part. I will own the horrible treatment that I did to people. And if I ever run across someone, um, very, very not, not okay. okay. This. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're not going to normalize this, you know, and we're not going to shove it It's not okay. The Don't come no. at me like, not like my trauma okay. is worse or my trauma is less than because yes, her trauma is horrible. That's her trauma. This is mine. And the idea that I'm supposed to kiss Mike Rinder's ass and say, you were, you were also in this. You, you were also, your, your brain was twisted. No, you wrote some of the programs. You wrote some of the doctrine that got us tortured. I just want ownership. I just want, why didn't, why didn't I deserve to be the one that got notified, got the police called? And trauma should not be compared. You're right. It absolutely should not. And if I offended anybody, I'm not no, trying to offend no, they're saying, anybody. They're saying that your trauma is just as valid as others. Yeah. That's and so saying. I am not going to so, kiss anybody's ass right. and beg them mm -hmm. to let me know why I wasn't good enough, why it was okay to, you know, to do horrible things to me and for me to go through horrible things and just, and then come at me and try to be my best friend. Like I thought I had dear family members in this. Like I, I was to a point everybody that if I got married, I wanted Mark and Claire to be at the wedding because Claire and I were, were becoming friends. I, you know, she, she, she meant a lot to me and knowing that I went through all of this and people looked at me and smiled when it's, you have to own it. You have to. My mom can never own it. The most that she is ever going to be able to do is say that she is disciplining me. That's all she can admit that she has done. And you know what? She's not the same person that she was. God or whatever higher power has deemed has put her in on this earth left. And whatever time she has left, it's going to be filled with pain. She had a neck surgery that her fused her neck. And now all she does is walk with a limp and hurt if she tries to walk more than 10 feet. She's getting her karma. Now, the reason I wanted to come on here and talk to you is because, yes, I am getting messages that um, are basically telling me that he's he's a victim. Um, Liz Gale's in the chat. Yes, Liz. Oh. Um, Hi, Liz. If, Liz, Liz Gale Gale. Liz, Liz, Gail, Gail, um, thank you for talking to me and cheering me up earlier. It, you know, and yes, as you get to hear my, the love of my life is here. Oh, hi. Um, hi, sweetie. Off work early. I'm glad you got off work early. I got some nasty messages. Oh, I'm excited to talk to you about them. Yeah, we'll put Did them right them? up for you. Oh, you want me to put them up? Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Put up, put up the message, Marilyn. Go ahead. I'm, adjust you I'm trying to get faster at this. Yeah, I'm not fast at it at all. Whoa, that became different. Sorry. I sound sexy. Well, I noticed that, like, yes, last from Can you see that? Yeah, this is one of the messages that's actually still going right now. The the person's still messaging me. You can still see the little the little dots. They're still going. Yep. Um, why is Mike Rinder being made a target now? I know there are people that have had him in their crosshairs since he escaped. I have nobody in my crosshairs. I have nobody except Scientology in my crosshairs. Why isn't, why is anyone but David Miscavige or LRH him in our collective target still? They are. That's what is negating this whole feature. Like, I am absolutely going to let you know, David Mista Mis Miscavige, yeah, because he does like to hurt people. Um, we'll continue 
to be in our crosshairs until the doors are permanently closed. LRH is dead. He's dead. Like he's not coming back to life. He's not reincarnating. He's not doing any of that. He's not, he, he did like worms are going through his body, you know, or through his ashes. Um, but in the very same breath, it's, you know, don't come at me. Like I'm, I'm in the wrong, like how, how Mike is a second gen. Congratulations on being a second gen. I'm, I'm not taking that from you. I'm taking the fact that you knew some information about Miriam. You knew some information about me and did nothing. Did nothing. Could have saved me. Did nothing. Comment. Being a victim is not a free card. It was his choice to break the cycle or to continue the abuse. He chose to abuse. That that letter to Miriam and those emails yeah. were absolutely disgusting. Yeah. And if I could... If I could teleport myself, let's talk, let's talk Star Wars or something. I, if I could teleport myself to Miriam and give her a hug, I would give her a hug. But no, we don't get to get victimized anymore. We're not living in anybody's shadow. And, and, hold on. I'm going to go on a tangent. I'm sorry, Marilyn. Oh, I'm sorry. Sweetie. I love you. This, um, I know that some people don't want to comment to it, but I will. This stuff that's going on in Discord about how Aaron is, you know, snapping his fingers and we're we're his puppets. It's disgusting. Aaron is an amazing man. He is willing to go to jail to prove that what happened to him was wrong. That doesn't make him our leader. That makes him our friend. Liz Gale went down there too. She was screaming for everybody, screaming for justice. Laura screams every single day. We're on here on a daily regular or on a regular daily, um, letting everybody know what's going on, what happens in Scientology, what is happening with our family, what is going on with my dad. He's alive. Fantastic. Let's get him out. You have someone inside the, the, the sheriff's office that's going to help me. Oh, but when I make a call to the sheriff's office, it's like I'm I'm echoing to empty hallways. Hallways are empty, but yet I'm told that here the, you know, the sheriff's office in Hemet has my back and they they want Scientology to just I I want them gone. Where's the proof? The proof is in the pudding. Nobody's helped me. I still have yet to see an actual picture of my father talking to a police officer. I'm still yet to see the body cam where he supposedly talked to him. And supposedly, supposedly, he said that he did not have a daughter named Elizabeth. Or I was an illegitimate child. I would love to see that body cam footage. Why is that not made available to me? Everybody else in the world can get, you know, records. I see on TikTok on a regular basis how they get police records and body cams, but I can't, you know, where do we draw the line? There's a line in the sand and the sand, the sand is basically any abusers need to go down. And if I had abused someone, I will go down for what I did. I screamed at people. I belittled people. I made people run. I made people feel like they were less than scum. And if I could go up to every single person and apologize, I gladly would. And I know some of them might forgive me, but some of them might not. That is their choice. Right. Yeah. Don't take the choice from us. Because if someone owned that this happened to me and they are fully aware that this happened, I, you're giving me an option to forgive. Finding out other ways is not an option to forgive. That means you don't want to own up to the responsibility of what happened. Own up to some of the responsibility. I was eight. My first scar is before I remember. It was a fireplace. My grandmother, my grandma Eloise used to tell me I was barely 15 months old. Missy, uh, let it out. Um, all of you have been silent for far too lo long. The world is your platform. We are listening. And thank you so very much. And Marilyn, you're a true testament of a mom. Because I, you know, I've met people 
Alicia, she is an amazing parent. Liz Gale puts her kids first. Nora puts her kids first. Aaron, yep, talks about his daughters. There is pride and joy. That's one thing we never had, guys. We never had someone talking about us like we were their pride and joy. So I want accountability. I'm not trying to bring anybody down. I'm not trying to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. I'm literally just trying to be the person that is saying enough is enough. How many more Miriams are there out there? Yeah. How many? How many people don't get assistance? I'm grateful for my assistance. Don't get me wrong. I don't know if it will continue and I'll let you know. But I'm grateful that it's helping me cover therapy because this is a lot. And then finding out that more people knew about it makes it even bigger. Mm -hmm. It makes it even more troubling. But don't come at me like, like I'm somehow doing something wrong by telling the truth. That's not me doing something wrong. By me wanting to be in LA and stand there with my friends at Hemet Base and look, look at Nora, look at Alicia, look at Liz Gale and be able to say, scream for my dad. I'm going to let them know that I'm here. I'm going to let them know that you're my father. But I need to know that I can hold you accountable for not being my father for so many years and that you're going to work on being that father. Because I've already seen a good man and we lost him. I've already had people try to say that they're like my dad. And it was a joke. Like, every time I tell someone something else, like, I'm so proud that someone cared about me, like, had these conversations, had these private conversations with me where I felt like they really loved me and cared. They knew the whole time that this is the abuse and this is what was going on, you know. Amy knew that I tried to jump off the building. And you know what? She said she was sorry in that moment that she said she was sorry. She didn't know what was going on with me. But I'm telling you, I'm not trying to get the, the cards to fall. I'm literally here to try to scream and get some doors to shut. Like I want doors shutting. I want the abuse to stop the RPF to stop. I'm even having as amazing it is. I had someone email me today. Hey, let me read it. I don't know if I could pop it up because I'm really bad at electronic stuff. Um, hold on. I, I know we've got a bunch of super chats. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Um, honey. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Um, where did he go? Okay. So my response to this person. Um, I get, hey, Liz, um, I have known Li a Liz Ferris and Bob Ferris in Scientology, but neither look like the pick. And it was a pick of the fire. I'm like, congratulations. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not a picture of me. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, Liz, are you getting these messages? I can hear Bob's voice clear in my memory. And I said, I'm here. I'm here. Sent a picture of my dad and I. Dead air. That's what I'm getting. Like people knew information about me mm -hmm. and I get dead air or I get, or I just get told that, um, I didn't know he had a daughter. It's kind of funny. Cause you know, I went with you guys to, um, magic mountain. It was so much fun sitting there with gold and having to say, sir, 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 to everyone crossing my path. Yeah. It was so much fun, but you didn't know he had a daughter. That's what Miriam was told too. Yeah. That they didn't know her mother had kids. Yeah. I'm being told by all these people that knew him. I, he, I didn't know he had a daughter. Well, that's funny. I have pictures. Yeah. You yeah, know, and, so now. Right. And moving, moving your mother around and you around, they, they know everything about Sea Org members. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a secret. It, let me tell you what happens. I'll, I'll tell you what happens. So, um, Nora, if you're listening, I, I hope you are, but if you're, if you're not, I'm glad kind of. Um, so I remember someone wanted to fill me in on an out ethics recruiter. 
And I couldn't understand, you know, what was going on. And then the CC network to, person told me, you know, let me explain to you just what out to D they went, you know, and made it sound like this vulgar moment. And it was so disgusting and so atrocious. I didn't know that it was Nora that was a recruiter. I didn't know that was Nora. I, I made jokes with my boss about how out 2D and how disgusting that was. And I'm not proud of that. And Nora, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I honestly didn't. I, I'm really bad with names. I'm great with faces, but I'm really bad with names. And I'm so sorry that I made jokes. Because I'm, for a lack of better words, everyone, I am the karma. This is what you get for coming after the kids. This is what you get for what you did to the kids. The kids are coming back and they're coming out and more of us will come out and more of us will bond together and more of us will sit here and say, look, we just got to bring them down. We just have to close this whole circuit. The abuse needs to stop. Real moms like you that when I call you up upset, the first thing that you do is say, what's going on? Just talk to me. You know how good that makes me feel when you say that, Marilyn? Like you're listening. It's just natural uh, because I, I just naturally love you because you are, you're precious to me. You're very lovable and you're important and you're Liz. <laughs> yeah. You're Liz. You're Liz Ferris. I'm, oh, you were about to cut. Liz fucking Ferris. <laughs> there you go. That's why I say Liz fucking Gale. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, because Liz Gale is just as involved. Each and every one of us, Serge Delmar, look at what he was forced to endure. And he's been saying this the whole time, that the, the upper levels knew about everything that was going on. Now, in, in that very same breath of, you know, what pisses us off and what gets us so angry. Kelly, I know you're in the chat. Are you okay with me outing that conversation? She's here. Yeah, she's here. Okay. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Okay, just let me know. Um, I I love Sir Joe Belinsky. I've loved him since I was a kid. He is like the brother that I always wanted. Yeah. Um, he is. I talk to him all the time, but let me tell you something. I get phone calls asking for money so he can go have food. I get phone calls asking for um, money so that he can go get toiletries. And you know what? Carrie and I sit there and we talk about it and we do it. Because that's what a sister would do for a brother. Serge Del Mar gets him, gets him painting, gets him out, gets him doing things. I got him a, a with with Mark and Claire's help. I got him a paint set for Christmas because I wanted him to be able to have art, and I knew where he was going to be for Christmas. That's right, Renee. Second gens never shut up. It's never the second. Shut up. We're calling you second gems. Oh, you gems. Gem. We're a gem. That's okay. You can say whatever you want. Okay. So here's the deal. Um. I don't know if Serge Delmar is in the chat, um, but we had had a conversation where it was Serge Obolinsky, Serge Delmar, um, Vanessa LaRose, and my wife, where I had just asked him if he was continuing to read the YouTube comments. And he said, I don't go on there because I don't, I don't know how to work it. I then felt betrayed and called numerous people because there, some people are saying that he's reading these comments. Keep commenting for him. He's reading them. He wasn't reading them. We were telling him all about it. We were, we were reading comments for him. And out of betrayal, what did I tell Kelly? Because I felt so hurt. Serge Obolinsky told me he did not want to do the video. The documentary? The documentary. But he felt obligated because he got teeth. And if you have a question, if you doubt the validity of what I'm saying, go ask Serge Del Mar. He was sitting right there. And no, Serge and I don't have this plan to bring down people. We're here for each other. 
We're here for your, our family. So um, I'm going to take myself off screen for a minute just so I can get myself under control. If you can answer some questions. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I know that every one of you are here to support Liz and uh, we really appreciate it. I, I don't know what to say is that except I'll take some of the comments. Um, I want to leave some of them for Liz because I want her to hear them. Hopefully she can hear us right now. Um, going down and looking for things. Um, Miss Intent, who is this from? I think you were talking about the screenshot. Um, I don't think she knows this person. We can, I'll leave it start so he can do that. Uh, Janet for the, from another planet. Thank you so much for the super sticker. MT Kaysen, Cass Kaysen. Those in leadership with accountability need to be held accountable for their actions and decisions. End of story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll say this. There was a, a comment. Um, well, one of the comments in that screenshot that we put up where it said that, you know, Mike is a second gen and he is, he is, and that um, he, you know, he's a victim too. And he is, he is. And no one's taking that away from him. No one's taking away the good that he has done. No one's taking away the fact that he was um, horribly abused. He was horribly abused. But that does not remove all um, consequences and accountability for your actions. There's still accountability. There's still um, there's there's still an opportunity for Mike to make some of these things right. I just assumed, and and you know, you can watch the stream from from earlier today with with Liz Gale. We went over a lot of these these types of things that have been coming at the second gens and the ex Scientologists, the third gens. And they're they're all of them, all of them, right? Whether they're first, second, or third or fourth. I guess there's no fourth gens yet. I don't know, but hopefully not. Hopefully there won't be any. But um, the idea of all of a sudden these survivors needing to justify why they're asking questions, justify why they're upset about their abuse. Um, to, they, they are not accountable to Mike, Mark and Claire and their, um, their little supporters. Right. And they are not the aftermath foundation. You know who the aftermath foundation is? I'm going to try to point in the right direction. All of the people were, were it's the, supposed that to be everyone. That was, correct. You are absolutely right. The aftermath is supposed to be there to help people get out of Scientology, create new situations, and then, you know, try to stable themselves because they've been through hell and back. You know, most of us are still clawing our way back to try to feel normal, to try to feel like we're human. Because I know I do. I'm still crawling my way back. I, I don't have the best relationship with a lot of people. I have an amazing relationship with Alicia, with you, with Kelly, with Liz Gale, with Nora, with, with Aaron. But you know what? None of us are leaders. We're all family. It That's doesn't right. make us a That's leader. Right. It doesn't make us following someone's rules or orders. Absolutely. Miriam, I've you talked to her before. I've done lives with her. I've messaged with her. She's she's kind and sweet and didn't deserve what happened to her. There's so many of us that did not deserve that. Yeah. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. We My mom somebody... was calling me while I was oh, that's okay. having a breakdown and she's like, you know, what's going on? And I told her, I told her exactly what was going on. And, you know, I don't, I don't know where a lot of things stand with my dad, except the things that I have done to be completely honest. Those of you that have emailed me, I, I have a legal action that I'm taking, um, but I'm taking it. Nobody's helping me. I was told someone was helping me, but I never saw the help. I never talked to a person in there. I talked to someone that sounded just like my dad, but it wasn't hit my dad. It was his friend. 
but his stories are heartbreaking because he's like, I didn't know he had a daughter. You worked next to the man for 30 years and didn't know he had a daughter? How? And how is it that it's okay to not take ownership of your children? I am not biologically the parent to either one of the children. But you know what? I would lay down my life for both of the kids in this house. I would lay down my life to make sure that they have a better life than I had. I will give up everything. I will give up every new pair of sneakers, new pair of new cologne. I will give up every Pokemon that I own to make sure that my kids are okay. I would give up anything. Why couldn't that be done for us? Because we're the parents now. The roles are reversed. We're the parents now. And we get to do the opposite of what was done to us. So every time you see a Sea Org member, tell them to call their family. Tell them their family misses them. If you see someone that's, you know, saying, you know, oh, you know, I disconnected, you know, because it seemed like a good idea. They were suppressive. There's no such fucking thing as suppressive. How about that? That's my comeback to anybody that wants to tell me I'm being suppressive. There's no such thing. It's a word that was twisted and manipulated and twisted again and twisted again. And then it's given to you like it's fucking gospel. Ugh. Let's let's tag some of those okay. questions. Why do I read right some of I'm... the love and you just receive it? Receive the love. Okay. 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 Blackmail. Uh, beautiful Liz, take your scars as metal for all of your courage to stay alive scars of your battles with an evil cult you are a warrior queen thank you thank you so very much for the super chat oh my voice reconnecting i like that you deserve these answers we're here for you these questions you ask help me to discover what i need to ask in recovery you're beautiful. Your authentic voice is needed in the abuses Scientology is responsible for. Yeah. I love that. And I want them to own it. And if yeah. I can help, if I can help anybody, again, I honestly will. I mm -hmm. honestly will, you know, because mm -hmm. that's my that's my jam. I want to help people. My wife wants to help people. We want to be the people that we needed. And we want a real family. That's what we want. We want a real family. And I've got that in Lara. I've got that in Nora. I've got that in Alicia. I've got that in Liz Gale. I've got that in Aaron. You know, he's not my brother, but, you know, he's as close as, as the brother that I could hope for because I could call him and say, look, I just need to know if this is true. And he'll say, I never heard anything like that. Yeah. So if you never heard anything like that, then the most, most likely it's not true. And I was fooled. And I'm sick of people playing with my emotions. That's right. Save, say Bob Ferris, girl. <laughs> save yep. Bob Ferris, girl. Yes. That's right. Save Bob Ferris. Thank you. Because I am his daughter, Elizabeth. That's right. That's right. Lathonda Gronklich, proud Flea board warrior. I'm just going to put it all together, right? All right. All warrior. right. Now we're the flea board warriors. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's the spokes holes. <laughs> I want to be a godmother from across the pond for all second gens and constantly hug them. I will not go away. I will always listen and hold space. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. You know, across the pond or not, we have people that are across the pond too. Sometimes they just need a little love. Absolutely. All right. Let's go. Uh, v, 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 Vi. Vi. Yeah. Vi. Uh, Liz, my mother's favorite weapon was a high heel. I feel you, sister. I'm beyond angry with those who would go after you in an email or otherwise. Come out of the shadows, cowards. Here's to you. I didn't want to say that too. It's like, come out of the shadows. You know, yeah. let's have a discussion. My mom's favorite was uh, a dictionary. Any kind of dictionary. My first dictionary was used a couple of times. Um, the ethics book was a really big one. 
that one I got a lot. And let me tell you, getting slammed in the in the head with an ethics book, it it hurts. It it hurts hard. Not okay. That's not okay. No. Janet, the fact that Mike Rinder was also a second gen and victim should make him more motivated to come clean and answer the questions. Yeah. Can't argue. Absolutely. With that. Just answer questions. How about if you don't want to answer them for me, answer them for Miriam. Give Miriam the information she needs to be able to get justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just constantly denying that they know anything, saying, I didn't know they had children. I didn't know anybody. I, was, I wasn't there. I was in the hole. I don't know if all that, I, I don't think that cuts it, but Ginger O. Snap says that's the lies they tell themselves. Yep. I'm not calling him a liar, but I, I, I think that... Some of these stories coming out, and I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. I want to pop up um, Children of Scientology, Christy. I wonder if Matt Pesh was still there then and would have paid for airfare to transfer you off flag lines. Um, I don't know if he was there in 1988, but I do know that he was there when Bianca, um, the the young woman that was just interviewed by Kelly, and I've, I've spoken to her. She's very, very wonderful, very lovely. She lives in uh, Sweden now. Uh, she said that Matt Pash used to drive her and she didn't say he was a mean guy or anything. Nice. was nice to her. I think he used to drive her as a young child. I can't remember exactly how old she was um, to her quote job, her child labor job every day. So I don't know if that's called child labor trafficking, but it sure yeah. as hell sounds like it to me. It sure right. as hell Let's Let's I have heard consensus. all I've heard about is the abuses that went that that they suffered. You read those books? It's the abuses that they suffered. What about these children? What yeah. about these children that are now adults and now speaking up? And whether it's 20, 30, 40 years later, their stories are still valid and they still should get answers. Yeah. And it's I'm gonna let it, you talk because I'm gonna I'm gonna get really it's totally okay. I want I'm okay if you get heated. I'm okay. That's the reason I wanted to do it with you because I knew if I did it with you, then it would just be us having a conversation, and I needed to just have a conversation about this. I like this. Ann Walsh betrayal sucks. Yeah, it does. You feel betrayed. You know, I, I had to call Liz Gale earlier because I was like, Am I just that naive? Am I, am I, am I so desperate for love from someone that I just didn't see this coming? Cause this is hitting me like a ton of bricks, you know, and I've got a, and I've, and I've still got a service tomorrow for the dearest man that ever lived. And all, cause at midnight tonight, I'm not going to be online at all. I'm not, my attention's going to be focused on Alan. And the life that he had and the friends that he had and the amazing daughter that he had. I still have a life through all of this. Yes. yes. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. I'm not someone to click on. I'm not just some story. I'm a human being that went through hell. And all I can say is, is even though I went through hell, I will still help anyone that needs help. But don't come at me like I'm supposed to bend over and kiss someone's ass. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I'm going to go down to L.A. and I'm going to go down and I'm going to cheer as loud as I can. And I'm going to scream at Hemet until my voice drifts. Until I the sound that Lara made when she said, I love you, dad, comes out of my, vo out of my throat. I'm going to scream that for him. I'm going to make sure everyone on that base hears me. And I'm not going to need a bullhorn because I'm loud. And I'm going to make sure they all know, Bob Ferris, you need to come out. You have family out here. You're in a cult. Knock it off. And to anybody telling me that I need to ask for, for you know, that I need to consider him a second gen, you should also want our justice. You should also want us to have justice. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have to pay you to give us justice. There shouldn't be a, a check written for justice. The idea that a, a victim would have to come up with a check is disgusting. Mm -hmm. Justice should, should be free. 
You know what happened to us. It's simple. You want clear descriptions of every building? You want clear descriptions of where the LRH comms office was? You want a clear description how on the side of AOLA where they used to drop the whales off? My mom pulled me aside and threw me into the building so hard that I literally just dropped and I couldn't get up. I honestly thought I was paralyzed. I thought I was going to die. And, and then the next day they were number one and they were dropping a whale off the building. And so much of me wanted to grab that whale and go down with it. But no, we don't deserve justice. No, yes, we do. We absolutely deserve justice, each and every one of us. And if you thought, and if you think that we're coming to take away your freedom of religion, it's the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics that you're no longer open. How about that? It is the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics that your doors close. Smile. They're closing. Sorry. That was my little, okay, honey. that was my little vent. Cause I don't want to hear that I'm taking away someone's freedom of religion. I don't give a, I don't give a crap what anybody believes in. I don't. I hope that I hope one day that I can believe in something bigger than myself besides aliens. You know, I watch too many Star Wars and Star Treks. If Luke Skywalker is real, then then so is Princess Leia. Is she alive? Is she not? Yeah. So, yes, if you want to email me, please email me at savebobferris at gmail.com. Um, you're more than welcome to. But do not email me if you plan on telling me that I need to kiss someone's ass. Just don't. You'll be blocked mm -hmm. real quick. Okay, now I know we have some, whoa, a lot of star things. Yeah. Okay. You want to go through some? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, honey. Thank you for being patient with me. No problem. Of course not. Uh, of course Jen, not. comment. Thank you for being there for all those second gens and giving them a safe space to share and vent. They all need it. Your support is inspirational. Yes, it is, Marilyn. Love you guys. It absolutely of is. I know you do it for me and you do do it for me. Because yeah. you you called me today, and that's how I was doing. And you know, yeah. you know, I mean, Duncan and I are getting old, and uh, not everything you know is uh, fine and dandy all the time. We've got you yeah. know some. We do uh, get older. Things. Yeah, got some health things we're working through, and yeah. Yep, we're all, and we're all we will all be other. there for you. Thank you. Yep. Nancy, question, please. Can it some? Can you at some point read the 5P letter? Um, I'm here from y'all in Alaska. I'm thinking that the five-page letter, somebody must have printed this out. I think it was the three-part. I'm not sure. You can let us know, Nancy. If you're still in the chat, let us know. Um, there's a uh, some screenshots or something that's circulating. Uh, Mark Headley had put on his community page three um, posts. Is it yesterday? The day before? Yeah. And then it was immediately now. taken down. It was taken down yesterday during the day. Yeah. yeah. So am I going to read don't it? Have no. It. I, I don't. I have don't. It. And, it, and we don't have time. And ain't nobody got time for that. Five pages. <laughs> we don't need it. Yeah. I, I don't have time for all that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Um, Valerie, just because he's a victim doesn't mean he doesn't have a lot of answers to give you and a lot of others. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Lara, question. Um, please understand I am not coming at this as defending Mike, but as a cautionary tale. Would open, honest transparency and a genuine apology have been enough or would you pursue legal actions? I wasn't going to pursue legal actions. I just wanted someone to know that it happened to me. That's what I wanted. That I wasn't alone at witnessing this. That I wasn't alone at going through this. That I didn't have to and, be a punching bag. And yeah. people can knew. I, can I speak to that? Can I speak yeah. to that? I think it's it's damn cowardly to not not give information. To I think to you know if and I'm not saying this is the facts, but if um someone had done these things set up the policies, had known about these things, had or made orders for 
this abuse to either be covered up or to happen in the first place and for people to be shuffled around, right? And they knew about that and they didn't come clean and they didn't give information. Why? To save themselves because they didn't want you to pursue legal action. And real accountability is actually taking the consequences for your actions as well. Being willing to take consequences. Just because you're brainwashed, it doesn't mean that there's not consequences for your actions. And people would be lenient. I know you, Liz, you would forgive. I do forgive. To I not even give you the opportunity to, to know the, the truth and to forgive and instead to save, to save themselves and not give the information and then, you know, be setting policy even out, you know, we're on, we're on SBTV, YouTube, don't say anything to upset the OGs, you know, um, let's, you know, buy merch and, and, and worship people this, you know. It doesn't make you a an automatic hero because you're speaking out against Scientology. What about the kids that were abused? And I, I just, if we have time, um, I know we got some more things to go through. I think Miriam said it perfectly last night. I shared a little clip with Liz um, Gale today. And what we're trying to express, I think she expressed it perfectly. If you don't mind, it's only one minute long. Do you, you mind if I pop I'm up? okay with Miriam coming on. Okay, I'm just going to pop up her little thing. It's just a clip of her. I wish I had the real Miriam. <laughs> but let's do this. Let me get the right timestamp here. Okay. Over there and make sure I liked being there. I have no problem with people whistleblowing, but should they be put on any foundation purporting to help victims of the type of crimes that they themselves covered up? Could that be considered a conflict of interest? Any organization, person, or group should be assessed for the harm that they do as well as the good. I retain my right to ask questions and to speak freely about the personal harm that I have experienced. Every time that Mike Rinder announces to the world that he destroyed people's lives, he is met with praise and applause. Is Mike Rinder so upset that he can't be questioned? Or do I not have the rank to ask that question? People need to stop looking at this through the lens of an anti-Scientology movement. Oh, but gosh, what will this do to the cause? Anytime a person states that, they're at the risk of damaging their own credibility. If you believe that a crime only matters if a Scientologist committed it and that the crimes of an anti-Scientologist should be absolved, then you are no better than the people who covered up for Danny Masterson. Yeah, no better. Absolutely no better. No better if you covered it up and you knew about it. It makes you culpable. Again, I spoke about it earlier. If you rob a bank and you're the drive and so, or someone robs a bank and you're the driver and you are the getaway car, guess what? You're culpable. Mm -hmm. If someone in that bank gets shot while you're the getaway driver, you are culpable. You still participated. I've participated. And you know what? Yes, it sucks. We were ordered to do it. We thought we were doing the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics. And that sentence pisses me off. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of making excuses why it was okay for us to take a punch. I'm tired of making excuses for the fact that so many people were SA'd. Like it meant nothing. Grown men touching little children, punching them or doing assists or rubbing their hands on their body and calling it a nerve assist. I'm tired of it. Disgusting. If you want to read them, I don't know where my sure, glasses honey. are. Chrissy Newton, thank you for the super chat. They know the names of the squirrel squads. They know you existed. End of story. We got you, Liz. Yeah, they, they know a lot of stuff. So yeah. uh, if they can't, you know, selective memory, maybe. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. I don't know. Thank Louis, you so much hey, for the Louis. super chat, everybody. 
Liz to turn the tables. That commenter is protecting Mike the same way a Scientologist protects DM and I think well, LRH. Danny Miscavige and, and David Miscavige, I got them mixed up. And Danny, Danny Masterson, both DM, LRH, yep. interesting. They can't see that too. Yeah. Nope. There's a lot of patterns of behavior that are very rem reminiscent of uh, when they were in Scientology. I'm just saying. Uh, a lot of culty behaviors. Bison, Bison 5360. You're my sister from another mother. Love you, girl. Say Bob Ferris. Thank you so very much. And I tagged this one. Eloise. Um, one, I love your name because that was my grandmother's name. Ah, uh, Eloise. That was my my dad's mom's name. Eloise, um, I'm, sh I'm sure some of the LA Squirrel Squad would qu come with you to Hemet. Chris without a Hellcat did go there a few weeks ago. I know I was on his live. I thought it was amazing. That's and someone had told me after I got off his live as I was watching it um, that he had screamed out or someone had screamed out, say, where's Bob Ferris or save Bob Ferris. Yeah. This one wins the internet of the night, I think. <laughs> when the, the old flea back. <laughs> lots, nice. of, lots of hearts. You deserve so much more and beautiful, pop, beautiful dog. Absolutely. Yes. You deserve all the love. Thank you, old flea back. I do like that. The old flea bag. I, yeah, do like I, love, it. I love it. Yeah. I had to pull it up again. Cause it was that That's good. good. <laughs> yeah. Um, cuddly floofage. floofage. I love that everybody has dogs. Cause let me tell you my floofage, my, my Siberian Husky saved my life many a times. Mm -hmm. Um, do y'all know who I think the lay down with dogs BS is referring to is is Aaron because he spoke to Rabbit, which I think makes it even worse. What's IMO? In my opinion. So uh, are you saying that Rabbit is a flea or Aaron is a flea? I just need he does with dogs. So she's laying down with Aaron, who is a dog. Rabbit. Because he spoke because he spoke to Rabbit. Because so because she spoke to him. She's laying down with the dog and rising up with fleas. Yeah, except for the fact that Aaron just wants everyone to succeed and wants Scientology to know that he's coming. He doesn't want to hurt anybody, nor has he ever, you know, I don't care what anybody says. He's yeah. a kind, sweet, gentle soul. He's a gentle giant, to be completely honest. I'm sure he's going to tower over me and I'm just going to be like, whoa. But at the same time, he's a gentle giant. And I asked him because he he allows people to ask him questions. It's like, Aaron, what is your part in this? Like, what do you do you have any regrets, any guilt? And he and he said, Well, he said, I wasn't at the top, you know. He's like, you know, he admits he's done messed up many times since being out. But he said one thing was he, you know, he had to balance like who he was, who he really was and what was expected of him. He said he did scream and yell at people and Lewis uh, leaving Scientology said that he could uh, yell. What was it? Uh, Alice in Wonderland from 50 feet. He had the TR, whatever number that is two or three or whatever down pat. But he said that he, he found that getting people motivated um, was a lot more uh, is a lot easier and a lot more effective if he was kind and encouraging to them, you know, you know, so. but that's what he is now. He's kind and encouraging now. Yeah. Uh, freeze the new project, Liz, you be angry, cry, rage, scream. You deserve to express what you're feeling because you have every right to them all. You didn't deserve the childhood you lived through, but you fought through it and you're here now. And I will help anybody in the blink of an eye. I, I absolutely will. I know you Freezy will. New Projects, what is my favorite saying? You're never late. You're always on time. Whatever time you get here is the time you were meant this to be here. Right, exactly. Exactly. Good to see you, FXB. Reiki. Reiki? Reiki essence. I like thank that. You super sticker. Um, thank you so very much for the super sticker. Thank you so very much. Um, if anybody, I, I do want to say I did make the the three the three thousand, and I know it's still climbing. Everybody, thank you so very much for smashing subscribe and helping hey. smash that like. If you are on my channel and have not subscribed to Marilyn, please, obviously, I care about her. Subscribe. Just thank you, honey. 
take a little walk. I'm over coming to the up wild on 3,000. I'm coming up on 3,000 as well. Yeah. So that <laughs> my difference away, of 3,000 can totally help her push her the <laughs> extra hundred, everybody. You know, because the trick is, is we're here to stay. We're here to stay. And we're sick of people trying to tell us what to do and what to say and what to be and where to stand. Yes. We're not kids anymore and we're not in a cult. Absolutely. Still sassy. Um, Jesse Hildenbrandt, niece of Jody Hildenbrandt, um, said that her family tried to silence her. Abuse, abusers lose the right to privacy. It's my story now. That's right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They've... I almost stole that from you. Um, oh, well, we both say it all the time because we have such smart people in our chats. <laughs> yes. Yes. They, because, that's all I know, can say. Absolutely right. Yes. You know, I know um, on my chat, it's the elite, the Venmos and PayPal's have been popping up. Um, if you want to donate to Alicia, Liz, Gale, Nora, or myself, you can hit up Venmo, PayPal, any of those things um, for the trip coming up. Um, I plan on doing as much lives as I possibly can, except this weekend is 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 unavailable. I'm I will be incommunicado, um, except if someone truly needs me. So if you truly need me, Marilyn, just please give me a call. Okay. Well, I'll try not to need you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll, I will I'll be a little bit busy up. tomorrow night, so I'll I'll leave you alone tomorrow night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our friend Joel McCoin. Thank you, Joel, for all your support and friendship to our to us to our channels and to this whole community joel mccoin i feel so hopeless i he might be helpless but i understand helpless and hopeless uh, that we can't really do enough to stop this pain if we if all we can do is listen and support that is what we will do if there's anything else we can do tell me we care just send love because we're not going anywhere we're going to stay we're here to stay. We're here to get out all of the information. We're here to, you know, we're not giving up. I will be in LA. I will be in LA at the end of February. And we're going down as a family to stand there as a family. And to, I want to thank the TikTokers. I know Alicia wants to thank them because they have helped get our stories out to so many more people and more people. And the more people that listen to what happened to us, the more people can sit there and tell people to stay away and that it's a cult. And if you know someone, reach out to your family, get them to leave. They're only one bad choice away from being on decks. One bad choice away from not ever talking to their family again. They're one step away. So why do I go in here? Because I want everyone to know. And I want so many people to thank the the TikTokers that are now on YouTube. You know, we're we're all doing the best. But thank you so very much, each and every one of you, Jessica, Chris without a Hellcat. You know, um, I wish I knew every single one of their names. Um, I don't want to call one of them. I, I gave him a cute little nickname because he's always in Yankee gear. He's like he's my little Yankee. <laughs> Aww, that's so um, cute. but. I, I thank you all. Thank you all for being at those doors. Thank you. And we're coming to join you soon. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to support. Janet Can't wait from to... another planet. Oh, please Janet. Feel free. Yes. Please feel free. Oh, feel, oh, sorry. Please feel all the love in the chat. I hope you feel all the love in the chat. I do. I, I do. Um, I Keep it with you know, when you are offline. Yes. Absolutely. Um, people Very, will email me. You know, um, I'm sure Carrie's in the other room. We've got to get ready for this this thing. But I just wanted to say, if you have a question for me, please, please easily just send it to savebobferris at gmail.com. If you haven't yet subscribed to The Amazing Marilyn, please yep. subscribe. And make sure anyone in my chat, make sure you're in, even in, in Liz's chat, look down. Because you two have sure been subscribing. Yeah, yeah. So it's at Pokemon and Cult. For Liz and at Coffee Cults and Crafts <laughs> for me. Oh, oh I'm good. You know, it always used to make me nervous because originally I wanted um, comics and cults. I originally wanted that, and then it was CC, and then I realized oh. that I don't want it. I'd, ra oh, I'd rather yep. be yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd rather be a PC, which is a preclear. 
you know, okay. someone that has not yet been tainted. Um, please no, don't triple, forget. Triple C. Right? Mm -hmm. You're a triple threat. And um, we just said the, the uh, comments. Make comments after the live. It shows engagement on the channel. Retired Red, thank you so much for all you do for Liz and for the community. Thank you for modding. Um, I'm going to thank my my new, I bet I bet most of you know, I've heard of Summer Savage. She's one of my new mods because I've been popping on all time, all time of day and night. My poor mods never know what's going on. Um, and Miss Sunrise Dawn and my hubby sometimes mods. There's so many of them. So thank you, Absolutely. everyone. That pitches in to me. Yeah, thank you happen. everyone for being there for us, for listening, for being outraged that we had to go through so much, for being there for us and having space for us. Thank you. Yeah. I coming on to YouTube, YouTube, I didn't think I was gonna have this. And yeah. Thank you so very much, each and every one of you. So what do we tip our wait waiters or waitresses? Don't forget to tip your waiters or waitress. They're doing the best they can. Um, be nice Hit to everybody like. in the chat. Remember, yep. we're all human. We bleed the exact same color. And other than that, I'll race you to the comments and have a great rest of your day.